Meanwhile, North Korea is upping the aggressive rhetoric against South Korea in a bold report. The North state-run news agency said yesterday's test firing of three ballistic missiles were simulations of an attack on the South. The international community has denounced the regime for its latest in a long line of provocations. Connie Kim has more on that. North Korea has revealed that the ballistic missiles it lobbed into the East Sea on Tuesday were part of a drill aimed at preemptively taking out South Korean ports and airfields. The North's Korean Central News Agency said Wednesday it purposely limited the firing range to simulate a nuclear attack with Kim Jong-un at hand to provide field guidance to the drill. The agency also said its military vowed to ruthlessly and immediately launch nuclear tests on Kim's command. In an apparent protest of the U.S.-made THAAD unit deployment to South Korea, the North fired three ballistic missiles on Tuesday, with two flying far enough to reach all of South Korea. The U.S. strongly condemns Pyongyang for violating U.N. Security Council resolutions. North Korea is isolated like never before. The international community is united like never before. Uh, and, you know, hopefully that will lead to a situation where uh, North Korea makes a strategic decision to come out of the shadows of the international community and try to rejoin the international community. The European Union also called the missile launch a clear and grave violation of North Korea's international obligations. The international community has slapped the strongest set of UN sanctions on Pyongyang to curb its nuclear ambitions, but most North Korea experts say the regime is likely to push ahead with boasting about its nuclear capabilities. Connie Kim, Arirang News. South Korea's chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Yi Sun Jin, chaired a meeting with his operations commanders this afternoon to gauge the possibility of abrupt small-scale attacks by North Korea. The military told reporters it'll stay on high alert and maintain its strong defense capabilities with the U.S. forces, as there is a high possibility North Korea could launch another provocation ahead of a round of drills between South Korea and the U.S. that begins next month.